Hi and welcome to this video titled Accessing the Device Camera with Capacitor. Capacitor is an open source native runtime for web native apps built by the creators of Ionic Framework. The major function of Capacitor is to allow access to native device features like the camera, file system, keyboard and lots more. So why would you need to access a device camera? Let's imagine you're building a gallery app and you want users to be able to take pictures using the camera or you're developing an application for users to scan documents or record videos to be uploaded to their profiles. These and many more are instances where access to the device camera is needed. To demonstrate how Capacitor gives us access to a device camera, we will be building a simple Ionic page where a user can click on a button to pull up the camera, take a photo and have the image displayed on the page. So why don't we get started on that? So I'm just going to go to Visual Studio Code where I have the code for the Ionic page and on the browser we have the page with the take photo button. So the first thing we're going to do is to add an event handler to the onclick event of this button. Say onclick equals set that to an arrow function and tell it to call the take photo function which we're going to be creating later. So on click take photo now scroll up we're going to be using capacitor so we're going to have to import a couple of things from the capacitor call library that will be plugins and camera results camera results type and from plugins we're going to access the capacitor camera component so just going to get camera from plugins next we're going to create a local state variable to hold our image data that will be camera image and its counterpart will be set image this will set to use state i'm just going to put any here so we don't get any errors with typescript and scroll down and now implement the take take photo handler for our button so we have take photo and the first thing we're going to do is make this an async function because camera is going to be returning a promise so let's create our image data object which is going to be set to camera calling the get photo method Get photo method will take a couple of options. The first is the quality we're expecting. Let's set that around 90. Second option will be if we want to allow editing, just set that to false. And the result type would require the base 64 version of this image. And once that is done, we want to save this into A local variable image URL that will be set to a template string and transform our base 64 image to one that can be loaded up in the source attribute of an image tag. So we say 64, we'll put a comma here and just impute image dot base 64 string. Okay, once we have that. Then we can say set image and set that to our image URL variable. And we'll scroll down here to display the image. Once we have a camera image, we can then display our image in an ion image. Close that and say source, set it to camera image. Good. So this squiggly line shows that we have not imported uh, ion image. So I'm just going to scroll up and import that ion image. Good. So once we have that in place, we can save the file and go to our browser. Just going to give that a add refresh to make sure that all updates have kicked in Then click on the tick photo button. And just wait for that to load up a bit and as you can see yeah i am on the screen 
can click the button to take a photo and uh, that's that might take a while just a little pause and yeah we can confirm as you can see me <laughs> closing my eyes there so select an image and as you can see the image is displayed i think i need to take a better image of myself <laughs> okay smile yep and that kicks in we accept and here we have our photo displayed on the page so in this video you've learned how to use capacitor to take and to take a photo using the device camera and also display it on the page